to the Houston Astros. Yes, your name is Houston Astros because your World Series doesn't count. You're stealing signs. Let me tell you something. Major League hitters, when they know, hell, even a minor league hitter, if they know what pitch is coming, they're going to crush the ball, right? Now you put that on a fact that you put that on the plate of a major league hitter. They know what pitch is coming, they're going to crush the ball. Look at Clayton Kershaw's stats in the, a in the NLCS. Um, they were like unbelievable at home. Then he went to Minute Maid Park with the World Series, I believe it was. I keep thinking Houston's in the fucking National League. Then in the World Series, you go to the fucking Minute Maid Park, or I should call Sign Ceiling Park, and they were horrible. The bottom line is this. It's an asterisk. It's not a world. They shouldn't even have a World Series championship uh, trophy, but now everyone knows it's an asterisk. And there's this debate about, well, what about steroids? I'd rather be on steroids, and I'd rather face a guy on steroids. And, uh, no, yeah, you would. You'd rather face, because you understand something. If someone knows what pitch is coming, they're going to fucking crush it. They're going to fucking crush it. It's amazing. Houston had to cheat to get, Houston had to cheat probably, honestly, they cheated all year. That's how they got that good record that year. Because normally we see what the Astros are, they're fucking garbage. The Astros, honestly, honestly, they should be suspended the whole team operations for a year. I can't believe they cheated at baseball. You got to be a low life. No one even cares about baseball. No, it's all NFL. But to cheat at baseball, you got to be a low motherfucking life. So, yeah. When you know what pitch is coming. Honestly, I haven't swung a bat in probably 10 years. If I walked into Minute Maid Park and they told me on my headset what pitch is coming or a signal, whatever, I'm hitting home runs, doubles, whatever. I'm hitting the ball with authority. And that's a fact. It's just a fact. Houston, you guys can try to defend your actions. You can't. You can't. It's embarrassing. In fact, you guys should... I think all the players, if they could prove they had any part of this, should be banned from the uh, Major League Baseball for life. Hell, Pete Rose is for fucking betting on his team. Not against it. On his team. And Peter Daniel Rose is a hell of a ball player. Hell of a ball player. He should be in the Hall of Fame. I, you know, I can't help it. Bart Fat Giamatti, or I think that was his name, banned him. So the new, the new fucking uh, commissioner should just say unbanned. Who gives a fuck? Who the fuck is Bart Giamatti? If he knew the facts today, he'd probably let him out. He, uh, Bart Giamatti would let him Pete Rose in the Hall of Fame right now. Peter Daniel Rose belongs in the Hall of Fame. And I don't even like Pete Rose. I can't stand him. But he belongs in the Hall of Fame. That's a fact. Oh, and by the way, Kyle Ripken. Let me say something about Kyle Ripken's streak. Does anyone actually think that's an amazing streak? This guy. This guy, right? He played baseball. When I played baseball, you'd have to fucking... I'd have to be in the hospital not to play baseball. The guy's playing a fucking thing he loves to do. That's not going to work every day. You're playing a sport. So it's not hard to do, Calvin. Anyone could have done that. In fact, I've done it all my life. I never missed a baseball game my whole 30-year career. Top that. <laughs>